It's December 31st, 2022, and I had an experience at the store yesterday that I haven't had for a long time, and it was one of being very hungry, yet not being able to leave the store with food that I would be able to eat myself. Um, so... I'm basically saving the food for my children. And I was just walking around the store so, so, so hungry. And it was like, if I could just take anything home from here, like anything home from here, I would eat it. And it was a really infuriating and um, frustrating feeling. I'm sharing that with you guys because that is going to change. I am no longer going to identify with not having enough for myself. I am no longer going to identify with the paradigm of just not having enough. Um, Saving whatever we have for my kids. But having enough for me as well excuse me at all times please forgive me my energy has been a bit low (laughs) um i am no longer identifying with not having the support that i need um my current support structure is myself the state and god And I'm no longer identifying with not having enough. My limiting beliefs are around not having um, skills that the marketplace values, which means, you know, making minimum wage. Um, And that doesn't work as a mother with three children. That doesn't work. So I'm no longer identifying with being... Um, you know, a single mother. I'm no longer identifying with that. I'm no longer identifying with not having marketable skills that the marketplace um, values. I'm no longer identifying with my past. I'm no longer identifying with trauma. I'm no longer identify with being single even because I am calling into me my husband, the man that God chose for me, I am calling in what I guess people would consider the lucky break, right? Um, That I've been asking for for years. This video is important to me because it is a turning point. All of that being said, I'm also moving into what I believe God has been asking me to do for a long time, which is blogging. I believe God has been asking me to blog and vlog, and while he has been asking me to write, and I have been writing, but I'm still writing and still editing, um, but I believe he's been asking me to do all of this from the perspective of family and all of that for a long time, and I haven't. I just haven't, so (laughs) it seems it's time. So, yeah, it's coming. My kids, me, and life, and yeah. So, uh, (sighs) I'm scared. Like, I'm really scared. One of the things God wants for me is vulnerability. So, guys, I'm terrified. Like, I'm, like, making excuses. I'm making excuses for, like, vlogging. And then my um, 10-year-old daughter on her iPad makes an entire vlog. From I also wanted to let you guys know that um, I did have a, a small miracle. And by small, I mean big miracle. So I was sharing with you guys how yesterday, like I was just so hungry at the store. Well, I woke up this morning to a deposit into my bank account 
from my other YouTube channel. So I was able to go to the store and get some things and um, whew, what a blessing. What are you doing? Before I end this vlog today, I wanted to put a list of the things that I did today to prepare for the new year. So I'm gonna, I guess, put those things like here. And if you have any questions about those things, uh, let me know in the comments. sparkling concord grape and so let's see if it does anything nothing no it didn't do anything <laughs> <laughs> 